good day. My name is Ivar van der Zand. I represent SAP B Lux for Business Analytics. And uh, today I'm going to show you a little bit about our managed reporting product called Web Intelligence. Um, quickly positioning Web Intelligence. Web Intelligence resides in the categorization of all business analytics products from SAP in the green area called Enterprise Business Intelligence. Web Intelligence is our most sold and most used product worldwide with over 28,000 individual customers um, and is in the green area as said, Web Intelligence is positioned as a reporting and dashboarding tool with highly advanced features and techniques. Let's have a look. I am currently currently locked in into the BI Launchpad. The BI Launchpad is the embedded business intelligence portal of SAP. On, your, on the screen you see the regular uh, different forms and boxes which are most recently viewed documents, messages if you have them, one can communicate within the business intelligence suite of SAP, alerting whether you have set specific thresholds or whether you want a message of a report that is scheduled, uh, uh, if that's been done okay, you can get that over here. And in this uh, lower section, most re recently run documents, you find the documents that you most recently run. Well, over here I have a number of documents recently used and one can recognize on the icon uh, which, which type of product uh, is being used to uh, make that uh, run that uh, document. Over here I have my first web intelligence report, I already opened it and on the screen you see the reading mode over here of web intelligence. As you can see web intelligence is multi-tabular, yeah? over here I have a combination of a list report with a, with a, uh, a tab with all kinds of visual data, very appealing. The type of charts that are available within Web Intelligence are enormous. There is bar and area charts, stacked column charts, there was heat map, tree maps, different pies, there was waterfall, there was geospatial, there is an enormous amount of data. Off the shelf, a user can, in reading mode, do a number of things with a report. Yeah, one can open a report, save it, or save it as Excel or PDF. You can print it, you can search in a report, you can combine, export it as PDF, Excel or CSV. And there are a number of other things one can do. For example, over here with the indicator, one can filter. If I tick the filter bar, you will see that over here I can set specific filters that I want. I could set for example a filter on the product yeah, and it gives me a drop down box and I can choose the different products that are part of the data set for this report. This is the second tab which is a listing report. Yeah? So within the same document, the same report document, one can have more than one tabs with different sources and different types of data all combined. Yeah. So over here you see a list report and again over here here's a graphical interpretation uh, of that same list. I have a, sec a second example to show you how web intelligence could work for you. Over here you see a CEO report, an example with demo data uh, about revenue specifically mentioned for a um, CEO. As you can see over here I have a button which is called drill. If the developer of the report has embedded drill, this button can be opened and activated. If I tick it and I hover over the different types of data that have drill embedded, you see a pop-up box that says it is allowed to drill in this report. Meaning that if I click, we go one level lower in the data to the lowest level available. Yeah? So again, if I click over here, I can drill up again and come back in the original situation. This section has no drill embedded. As you can see, if I hover it, there was no specific drill functionality. The drill functionality is very strong. It can also drill to specific sections of the report if wanted. So again, I drill on the green area yeah, and it opens up 
the underlying data and I can even go one level lower to product level or even category level. So as you can see, I can drill through various types of dimensionality. If I go back to the first report, the loan information report, so far we have only looked at web intelligence in the weeding mode. If I do have the authorization set by my ICT manager or competence center manager uh, to also go in design mode, the design mode button will be activated. If I tick the design uh, mode button, one can see that the number of options on my left hand side uh, becomes bigger, meaning that I now can also go to specific structures or input controls or even can create new objects or uh, reports. As you can see, the available objects icon has become available for me and over here you see a list of all the data elements available to me to create reports. Imagine that in this report I would like to add a third tab of data with a new report. If I right click and say add report, a blank screen opens and creating a report is very simple. I control click the types of data that I'm interested in, employer, job type, product, and I choose one or two or even three metrics and I just drag and drop them to my report section and over here is my first report. If I'd like to add a little bit of graphics, yeah, you can see over here in design mode a whole variety of elements that I can all use to set up my report opens up for me. Also these elements, so I could for example to show you, <coughs> I can easily choose over here are the different types charts that are available to me off the shelf so I simply choose a type of chart I click OK and over here is my first chart and now I simply have to drag and drop the data elements that I'd like to have in that chart so I choose city and drag and drop that over here equity for example Product. and over here I have a second graphical representation of my data. I can save this and I can proceed formatting and editing my new report with very 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 advanced techniques like grouping, sorting, I can use prompts and variables. Web Intelligence is mo one of the most advanced products of SAP. It has very tight integration with all the other modules yeah, so it all uses for example the same universe or has direct connectivity to SAP BW. Thank you for your attention.